Okay, Ethan. First day. Here we go. Hey! A new guy! Uh, hello? Hello? You are new, right? Yeah, I am super new. How'd you know? Because you're standing in the middle of everywhere and your sheet's upside down and you look incredibly lost? Yeah, I am incredibly lost. Um, do you know where room 127 is? It's my next class. Come with me. Oh, what an amazing coincidence. So, I'm Drew Frazier. Ethan Klein. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Yeah. Jinx. <laughs> okay, so we're headed to Mrs. Stevens' class. Right. And you should sit in the back there because she usually tries to set up seating arrangements, but she never does, so you're gonna be fine. <laughs> Mrs. Stevens. What's funny about that? Yeah, it's just at my old school, we used to call teachers by their first names. But, whoa, whoa. So you're telling me that you're from one of those hippy dippy call your teachers by their first names type of schools? Uh, yeah? Ooh, you're in the belly of the beast now, my friend. Welcome to the public school system. Hippy dippy? No, come on, it can't be that bad. We'll see. Where's this where way? Are you going? This way? Yeah. I know, I'm new, so I don't. Dear God, that was awful. I spent the past five days staring at PowerPoint presentations. It all just blends together in my brain. Did Pythagoras invent the Constitution? <laughs> Welcome to school, my friend. Real school. But like, like, did he though? It sounds wrong. No? It's Confucius. Constitution, Confucius. So, wait. We're studying for the quiz next week to prepare for the test in two weeks so that we can pass the big test at the end of the month. That's right, but that's all for the regents in June. What are the regents? Everything, my friend. Everything. I've been hit. You struck me. The test will last the entire period. There are 30 multiple choice questions and five short answer questions. <laughs> This will account for 33.3% of your grade for this semester. So be sure, be sure, to mark your scantrons neatly and make no stray marks anywhere on the form. Okay, this is formulas. You know the formulas, you studied this. Okay, uh, sine A over A equals sine B over, wait, no, it, it's A over sine B, A, whoops. How many questions did he say? 30? 30 questions to decide my grade in the class. That's ridiculous. Hey, focus, pay attention. Theta equals the opposite interior angle minus the alternate. Why am I doing this? I don't need this. Ethan, focus. Okay, here we go. Am I still in question one of 38? What the fuck? No. I have had enough. This, this is not, this is not what learning is. This is, this is, this is wrong. This, this test defines us as students. How we do on it defines our grade in the class, which defines our average, which defines which colleges will throw out our applications. Why? Why is this, this 45 minute period, and these bubbles on this Scantron, why is this how we're judged? What is the purpose of a test? It's to find where a student needs help in a class so that a teacher can help them, right? So why is it used as some kind of trial by fire that ends in failure if you bubble too many wrong answers on a Scantron? And, and the big tests, the standardized ones, are written by four or five private companies with zero oversight or accountability, whose tests focus on rote memorization rather than actual fucking learning. Why? Teaching to the test? Teaching to the test is not teaching. It's having, having facts and figures shoved down my throat for a year so that I can regurgitate them in a room for two hours is not learning. It's 
It's a disgrace to the concept. But we can fix it. We can... We can fix the system, but we have to decide, all of us, that this is not how you teach a child. This is not how you instill a love of learning. This is not right. I got an F on the test? Dude, you ripped it in half. I hate this place. Oh, come on. It was a good speech, though. No? All right. Bye, Ethan. It was fun. I still don't know where to go. I'm so new. Down the hall. Thank you. This way.